right, all right. Okay, so it's pretty good. Let's see if you like it. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's just vinegar. So, I'm out here feeding apple cider vinegar to the cows. <laughs> it's homemade, it's awesome. I've got a cow that's kind of honking like a chicken, just kind of a little uh, respiratory issue. Ben's calling him over there, so I'm really doing quite the opposite of what he wants me to be doing right now. But one of them really needs apple cider vinegar, so maybe I'll go give it to her over there. But that's what I'm out here doing. Oh yeah, so to make it, uh, let's see, this brew was from October 13th last year. And to make it, you use apples. You can tell I used cut up apples, uh, water, and sugar. It's super easy to make. We've just been kind of using a little bit out of this jar throughout the year. Now they're all going with Ben, so which is really good. He's not going to be too mad at me that I <laughs> distracted half of them with this awesome apple cider vinegar. But it's really, really good for cows and people and all sorts of other things. Um, and so especially right now, if you have cattle and you are hearing them kind of coughing or have uh, issues like bronchitis or pneumonia or something like that, you want to try some apple cider vinegar. They love apple cider vinegar. Really easy. You can tell what it looks like inside right now. It's just a bunch of uh, apple pieces cut up. Maybe I'll do a video of how I make it. And then I only have a little bit left because I poured a bunch in that little container. Uh, but I use a huge mason jar like this. I fill it up about, I don't know, two thirds of the way with apple slices, I'd say, probably at least up to here. Um, cut up apples, maybe I quarter them, I guess, is what it looks like, you know chunk them up it's kind of what I think when I'm doing it and then I fill the whole thing up with water I think I add a cup of sugar per apple is what I always add and so I don't know say I added seven apples in here it took me seven apples then I would have added seven cups of sugar and I use like that raw cane sugar when you're making it I always get the purest sugar sorry they're all moving it Ben it's kind of funny uh, but just get pure cane sugar and you are gonna let this cover it I use a, let's see what I got here, I used a coffee, uh, you know, one of those little coffee, I don't want to put it on the ground, sorry, coffee filters, there you go, I used a coffee filter, I just cover it like this, I grab a rubber band, and I put it on there, and then I would let this sit, I just let mine sit in the cabinet, um, in a cool dark place is the thing but you let it sit in the cabinet and then you're going to stir it so for the first little bit it does not look this milky so the first time you're doing it it's just very clear as you're putting everything in and i take a little uh chinese chopstick and i stir it with a chopstick it's kind of like if you've ever canned something it's like debubbling it before you can it but uh you just take your little chinese chopstick and stir it all around and then you do that every single day and the process gets started so maybe I'll do a video and show you guys how to make it but that's what it is and this is after let's see I said I made it 10 13 last October and it's September 8th so yeah it's fantastic stuff once you get it to turn into vinegar you don't have to worry about mold because it cannot survive in that in that environment which is why vinegars are amazing and they provide a lot of different health benefits for the animals especially for their gut and their gut controls so many things about them that you just don't really know about if they've got a bad gut it's going to make them more susceptible to disease and lots of other things that are not good so control it with this i'm just going to show you guys i did a quick little splatter of the vinegar into their <laughs> Uh, trough here and Ben's just gonna laugh at me because they're no longer gonna be in there. I should have done it in their water Honestly, I'm gonna go up there and do it in their water Okay, <laughs> look at that funny little tree <laughs> We're gonna pour it Into the well water over here The cows are gonna stay in this field for one more day 
and then he's gonna rotate them out. But he opened up a new area for them over by the corral that has a lot of wild spinach and wild lettuce and grasses, Johnson grass, bluegrass. All right, this is where I'm gonna pour it. This is their little waterer. It's the watering system, one of many. It's connected to well water underneath the ground and you can drink from it on both sides. But if I pour it here, it will still allow them to access the same over there. So that's where I'm gonna pour it. Okay, let me put it down. I don't wanna lose this. Okay, put it in my pocket. Because basically if I still have parts of the mother inside, so the mother's what's made when you made apple cider vinegar, it's a bacteria that's created. Pretty awesome. Um, anyways, we can talk more about that in the other video that I'm gonna be doing. But if you still keep it, then you can just add more apples and go again. There we go. So that is awesome apple cider vinegar going into their water. Beautiful. And the cows just absolutely love it. People just absolutely love it. It's great for your gut. And the gut controls a lot of what you do. Okay, quick little video. Have a great day.